I think that's kind of, I'm not going to say it's normal because my nigga don't hit me and I, I just don't go upside my nigga head. My nigga just don't go upside my head. You feel me? So we don't get right. down like that. But now if it get real lit, Ooh, no. We might tear this bitch up. We might get the bucket. You know what I'm saying? But it's just not a norm that we do. Is getting physical. Now you know, but it it, it has get like that. We I think the same sex. I think because my stud homegirls and my gay girl, my girls who go with girls, they more tossed than the niggas. So it's just the, I think it's the same sex. It's like people don't play with me. It's like two lions, two tigers, two lioness, like at each other, and two tigers at each other. It's like the same sex. So. It's like, bitch, don't play with me. We're going to stand on it because I think it's more like that. You know what I'm saying? Speaking from my relationship. But I think that's just kind of annoying. But don't accept that. Don't make that your relationship just beating up and fighting a nigga every day. That's just weird and stupid as hell. So, no, don't make that your norm. But it is, it, it can go down. You know what I'm saying? And only the strong survive. You feel mm. What about you, Lady Red? Um, how do you feel about, you know, domestic violence within a relationship and how that works. Um, I don't play that, I don't, I don't play that shit. Um, ain't no yeah. nigga finna go outside my head, you know what I'm saying? Um, I did have a relationship of six years, um, where a guy did, um, black my out, but once I seen how my mama reacted to the situation, um, I just knew from then on, I will not allow another man to put his hands on me. <laughs> me and my mom, we didn't talk, we didn't talk for about like a year. Yeah, I'm 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 with you when you're right. Um I don't play that shit, bitch. Don't put your hands on me. Um if we can't disagree without you actually punching me, using me as a punching bag, blacking my motherfucking eye, choking me, kicking me in my balls, trying to kill me, bitch, what the fuck? Like I don't I don't motherfucking play that. That's not how you show love. That's not how you have a motherfucking disagreement. And I think I, I honestly wanna say, even though maniac you know, brought up, you know, several people that he had relationships with that he didn't be domestic violence with. There was also several others that he has had domestic violence with. Yes, but my line, what you don't know is you don't know the backstory and what has oh, went Hold on, I, I didn't interrupt at all. I just feel like there's a level of toxicity that you actually mm -hmm. enjoy when no, that's not something that I enjoy, bitch. I enjoy love, bitch, and I have that much to be finish, going through shit finish, like that. You, I didn't interrupt Girl. you. I didn't interrupt you. Let me finish. There is a level of toxicity that you obviously must enjoy if you don't break up with somebody the moment they cross that motherfucking line. The moment a bitch black your eye. The moment you gotta reach back. No, and because you bitch, jab. love is stronger than that. And in life, you're not human, yes. bitch, and you're gonna go through things, bitch. That's not something but I'm yes. gonna go through, but at the same time, I'm not gonna let nobody whoop my motherfucking ass. I'm not gonna let nobody just sit there and be destroying my motherfucking shit. So, bitch, no, bitch. You a hoe, so you don't understand, girl. You go from dick to dick to dick, so you don't really understand. Love no, you're a hoe. No, you're a hoe. You go from dick to dick to dick. Now, bitch, let me tell you something, Miss Motherfucking Maniac. No, you a real hoe. I'm you go him. from dick to dick, from ass to ass, from client to client, from the hotel room to hotel room. How can you let somebody go from client to client before they motherfucking before they have motherfucking head? No, you let the motherfucking head. 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 You let Bitch, Milan, you wrong for me a maniac. And the, and the first one, <laughs> wrong and the first one you, said, you said that they be trying to build a platform on here. That's why you got domestic violence. Well, Hollywood wasn't on Bigo, and you whooped her ass. I mean, drug that bitch all up and through your apartment complex. Bitch, Girl, let you me talk. her ass. No, let me the fuck talk, girl. You don't know what the fuck you talking about. Bitch, me and Hollywood are very good right now. We very cool. But, bitch, Hollywood was one of them bitches that do not mind swinging on you. Bitch, are you going to let a bitch swing on you, bitch? Is you going to let a bitch tear up your shit? I don't play like that. Keep your hands to yourself. Yeah, because, Milan, I'm with you. Don't put your hands on me. I'm with him when he's right. I'm with him when he's right. You got some people in Because I had a, like, one of my baby mamas was raised like that. You don't think you can put No, but, you know. So you have some people that's just toxic like that. They think that's normal. They was raised seeing their daddy beat their mama up. Now you think you're going to hit me? And I, bitch, no. And then they don't show you until you fall in love with them and all this. But that's, that's the, the thing. They, they feel like the facade. They, they feel like your first yeah, time. You don't know bitches just come off of the facade that they put on here on these acts. And on yeah, these so I'm you with you when you're right. Like that that bitch. Don't and let a bitch just keep putting their hands on that trial. People that's broken and people that's fucked up. I don't know what it is. Bitch, I've been questioning about my motherfucking self. Bitch, 
I'm not yeah, perfect either. I've been through that too before with a motherfucker. Better go put their hands on me whenever they get ready. It's like, bitch, what I work for, bitch. And it was a female that thought she could fight and just hit me when she get ready. Bitch, are you on crack? You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, Milan, and I don't think that you should do that, girl. And you know that. Shut and you the fuck from, up, bitch, Not just, just my story, girl. Hold on, let me talk. You think I'm just not my... Hold on, let me the fuck talk. Small head, ball head, big blown out booty hole, bitch. Let me talk. No, your booty hole was blown out. No, girl, your booty hole was blown out. Okay, Milan, okay, Milan. Okay, Milan. Okay, okay, no, hold on, bitch. You know, bitch, she not gonna bring me and you gonna say Milan? Miss motherfucker. When she said something to you, bitch, you went and put a wig on, was reading this bitch for 30 minutes. Let me go. I'm gonna ask you something. Let me go. Milan, 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 Milan. Ain't no motherfucking Milan now, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Let me the fuck up. Why would you be on here? Y'all wanna hear a video of a man like Moan and Pong and fuck? That is a mess. <laughs> Bro, you don't worry about nobody getting fucked. You always mad that nobody getting fucked because you're a freaking ass, man. bitch. You don't worry about it, bitch. Can I say now something? Now let me the fuck talk, ho. Y'all, y'all both freaky. <laughs> bro, you mean something about your freaky ass, girl? You said your freaky ass up, girl. And another thing For I wanted me? to touch on, though, some real For shit. So back to the topic. Back to the topic of the domestic spars with the LGBT. I guess that's what it was on. Uh, I'm, like, Lady Red is a woman. So a man, like, she with a man, I doubt she, like, a feminine nigga. You know, I think she want a nigga. So I doubt she, should, she shouldn't be encountering none of that or something like that. So, like I say, it's different when you two niggas. It's like we niggas, we dominant. You know, it's just different when it's two men. So it may go there. But you know, I kind of, you know, you just all, it just depends on the person so goes, and the relationship and how you carry yourself in that relationship. So that's so what kind of, you know, that's just what I believe. I want to say that, too, for And, and, and let me you looking real beautiful, girl. You look real a lot of people, 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 a lot of build a platform or become somebody like y'all don't be knowing y'all really don't be knowing what's going on i really don't want to explain too much i don't want to say too much because i'm not in a, in a bad place with this person right now yeah we're not together we're not getting back together but i just it's a lot more than but you can talk in general you don't have to specify person you can talk in general and tell us what's going on like a general but at the same time i will say i and i'm not perfect and i'm gonna say, i'm gonna say this a few more times i'm not perfect i'm not perfect Somehow, the, the the heart that I have and the generosity that I have and the love I have to give, some people may never experience before. And um, some people... Okay, I'm over this faggot in his story. Like, we dragging. What's the next topic? Girl, girl? Okay, we don't on, care. Hold on. I get it, man. Okay, go ahead. Hurry up. Make it quick. Wrap it up, because I'm getting girl, on. Shut up. Some people may never experience... <laughs> so first off, a lot of these Atlanta girls, they're okay. used to being fuck, not love. They used to be in fuck not love. Another thing is, they would give y'all a certain facade. Girl, they would make it a whole thing. They want they want to build a platform, girl, and it's just that's just that. That's I'm, I'm, I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. Well, that so means, what baby, I, that know your worth. Go find you a real man, not on the app. Get you somebody in a some. Go out of town, go on your little trip somewhere, and get to a Dubai nigga or something, nigga. Stop fuck because you keep going for the same type of sissies. I I saw a man too. Get you a nigga. Get you a real man. man. Mm, they, know the they don't even like social media. You find you one of them talking men. Because you not no, I'm saying you, but you ain't no bad off nigga. You feel me? Like, you look like you can have a good man. They say you successful. They say you work hard. You bout your bag. Boy, you deserve more than that. No matter what your status or what you got. When it comes to happiness and love, everybody deserves love. You feel me? So you just deserve more than that. Stop trying to think it's a flex to keep bragging on who you fucked on the app. And still be going to sleep at night not feeling like you love right. You feel me? Go mm. get what you deserve. And I also want to say, you know, to you know Super, what and what I want to say to you, Super, I think is so dope. And I know people may may not think otherwise or may say otherwise, but I think it's so dope that you do have a LGBTQIA son. Um, and the reason being because a lot of us, especially, you know, me, myself, Mr. Maniac, even uh, Lady Ridge, different people who have been growing up in the community, we were never taught. Our, like, y'all know how straight little boys and straight little girls they're taught how to romanticize a girl. They're taught how to write a love letter to a girl. They're taught how to ask to go out on a date. They're taught how to take a girl on a date. They taught how, they taught how to respect the girl. We 
we as gay men, our first encounters for the most part, some of us were molested. That was our first encounter with uh, our sexuality. Some of us are were sneaking doing something in the bathroom with a person trying to get it out the way because we, you know, we know what we we was taught that this was wrong. So a lot of us don't know how to love each other, how you know, straight men and women do. And so telling maniac to go out and find that, it is hard because most people, especially these motherfuckers that live in Atlanta and especially just gay men in general, we were never taught how to love each other. So Bro, you is, sound so dumb and you are too old for bro, that. Shut your it's not back. about a straight you woman. So, you so ignorant and black and dumb, you African booty scratch your fucking process. What he said is it's not like, a lot of gay parents. Like, she, she, he's hold on. She's so motherfucking. Hold on, hold on. She's so motherfucking dumb and messy and just a dumbass fucking open. She want to keep fucking on stupid ass, broke ass motherfucking bitches and motherfucking acting like she the girl. She want to act friend. like she the one with the motherfucking shop. She want to act like she the one with the Maserati. She want to. She don't want to motherfucking love nobody. She want to be a freaky ass motherfucking bitch and have some freaky ass home with her so she can do her OnlyFans and they can do OnlyFans yeah, and make yeah. money. That shit ain't gonna work. Stop going after these dirty, nasty-ass motherfucking hoes you be fucking. Izzy was a hoe. DZ was a hoe. Hollywood was a motherfucking hoe. Rico Pruitt was a motherfucking hoe. All these motherfucking hoes you fucking, and you expect a different outcome, bitch? <laughs> How the fuck you expect a different outcome, and you keep fucking hoes, bitch? The motherfucking definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different motherfucking outcome, bitch. You fucking retarded ass motherfucking punk. You keep fucking the same bitches. You keep going to the Marquette behind a motherfucking trash can, picking these motherfucking niggas up and taking them home and making them housewives and then getting mad when they get on motherfucking Bingo and they whooping your ass and fucking your shit up. Can I say something? Sick of that bitch. So what was your reason? So what was your reason for fucking out? I don't want to hear shit from you either. Don't ask me no questions, Lady Red. Don't ask me shit, <laughs> bitch. We gonna go to this next motherfucking topic, and that's on my mama. Yeah, yeah, I'm on that real bad. <laughs> so, what, so what was the reason for fucking out? Fuck you. <laughs> when you wanted me to, bitch, it would have been a worse a problem. Faggot ass, fuck you. Me, blah bitch. blah blah blah, girl. Let me tell you something. If you think I would have ever fucked you, Miss Maniac, and I would have had Miss Motherfucking DZ hide in my motherfucking bushes with a nine millimeter and a motherfucking machete waiting for me to come outside. Bitch, you gotta be motherfucking out your motherfucking mind. Bitch, I was never gonna walk out my motherfucking side and see a bitch spying with some motherfucking binoculars and her motherfucking ass moving a pipe of Tina in her motherfucking hand waiting for you to pooch out my motherfucking house. Bitch, is you crazy? She's still watching this live right now from 16 different foo-foos, bitch. I'm not dealing with no motherfucking psychotic ass motherfucking DZ. Bitch, please. She lying, y'all. I'm telling y'all. She wanted me to ram up her cat. She first off, she called no, me. I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Oh, shut your faggot ass up. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm since I'm in the big box right now, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next motherfucking let's talk about it topic. Um, with this topic, I have a special guest that's gonna come up and um he's gonna come and talk us talk us a little bit through it. Over the weekend, a young gentleman by the name of Pharaoh, if bad. you guys don't already know him. Um, he is in the house of Milan. He's on the television show on Now That's TV. And um, he was attacked. He was attacked. Yes, he was. He was attacked by someone by the name of Dooley. Um, Dooley allegedly, and this is all alleged. I don't know. Yes, again, this is not the first time they got to altercation. Um, D Dooley allegedly had on brass knuckles. Okay had on brass knuckles, and a snuck attack him when he came outside of a club here in Atlanta called Truth. Now, I were, was privy to, um, you know, okay, so let's just start there. Allegedly, Pharaoh was out partying with his friend Pola, and a guy from a show that he was hanging out with earlier that day waited for him to come outside with 20 different niggas and as soon as he came outside, came from behind with brass knuckles and punched him in his face. 
So I'm going to let y'all talk about that before I bring up Dooley and Pharaoh. And I want to see what y'all opinion is on that. I'm going to start with the beautiful, the sexy, the big dick, the jumbo dick. Mm-hmm. I'm mute Girl, doing all that voodoo. Um, I don't know, but what I will say, I mean, I guess when you do these type of shows, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what you sign up for. It ain't it ain't worth it ain't it ain't worth it to me. You see, Super got to burn the black eye on your network for free. Um, but. I just, it's not worth all that. <laughs> Girl, I'm telling y'all, okay, can I, can I be honest, y'all? And it's, I'm, I'm going to be done. Y'all, Milan know what's up on my head. So I'm trying, I'm, I'm, maybe we're going to handle this. You know we're going to do our 303s later. I'm trying to get this dialogue through with this motherfucking shit. Because y'all know me, I will go, oh, it'll be that. So he won. You win it, you win it, nigga. You win it. But I want to just, you know, we want to get through and let do them do that shit. I don't want to argue with you right now. We're going we to do our shit on the late night. But That's what do you think right. about Dooley allegedly attacking Pharaoh and giving him a black, like jumping him basically when he came out the club? What, like, Pharaoh... Me and Pharaoh was real cool. I hope this wasn't the night Pharaoh hit me up and invited and wanted to go out with me in Atlanta. I hope that wasn't that night because, bitch, I don't got time. That's why I got... Y'all girls be getting bipped and bopped and booty whooped and wop. And it just be too much going on. Oh, y'all be having all this drama and all this static and all these people, all these people jumping out the bushes. I'm me and Gooley, me and Dooley or whatever. We cool, too. We cordial, you know, you know. But uh, I just feel like like, like you know, that, it comes with it. it. You know, if he snuck him, that's fucked up if you snuck him. You know what I'm saying? Right. You should have called him out, got the fade. Now, if he snuck him, I don't agree with the sneaking, but if y'all had issues, you saw him in the club and y'all bang, like, what's the problem? Mm. Okay. Um. Go ahead. Um, me personally, I feel as if that, um, like um, Maniac said, um, when you sign a contract for these shows, um, this is what's supposed to happen. Um, we all know that Pharaoh talks shit. You know what I'm saying? We all know that Dooley talks shit. So, I mean, it was bound to happen. They both were subbing each other on Instagram. Um, and that's the reason why they got the ass whooping. Oh. So y'all are okay, and, and and I'm just I'm just asking because I, I I'm gonna give y'all my opinion after this. But before I give y'all my opinion, so y'all are okay with weapons? I mean, Milan, you have weapons. So you I, I didn't know about the weapons and all that. Now that's no, that's crazy. Like you should have just got your face. Like I'm, I don't so, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Um, so, no, I, I just, I'm gonna shoot operate. No one how these gays operate, you feel me? I mean, can we be honest? Can we They better be like, ready to die. You, you better got, be you ready to be die. Ready. If you, you hit me with something, ready. you better like, be ready to when die. It comes to these gays. <laughs> Cause my these man gonna put lead straight, in your ass. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't no rules in fighting. I'm right. sorry. Right. I'm with that. <laughs> okay. 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 Ain't, okay. No, right. Ain't no rules in dying. Right. Ain't no rules I'm in dying. I'm gonna give y'all my opinion and I'm gonna bring them up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna give my opinion and I'm gonna bring them up. Let me tell y'all something. Put your hands on me if you want to. I don't give a fuck if you if you don't like me. You walk up to me and you, you do this, bitch. If I got my knife, if I got my gun, if I got my bear mace, if I got anything on me, bitch, I'm going to use it, bitch. Don't put your motherfucking hands on me. So I don't give a fuck, bitch. I'm not. I I I, I you ain't no motherfucking uh run up let's fight one-on-one all of that i don't believe in none of that shit bitch you put your hands on me if i'm not getting paid to fight you bitch and you run up on me on the street you're liable to get your motherfucking head blown off your shoulders i mean that's just no shame because keep your motherfucking hands to your motherfucking self bitch Keep Baby, your motherfucking hands to your motherfucking self if you can talk shit on the internet if you can talk shit, then you need to be able to take that motherfucking talking shit back. The moment you feel like you're so Billy Badass and you want to put your motherfucking hands on me and I put on some brass knuckles, I pull out a knife, I pull out a 9 millimeter. We, you get jumped, that's that's what you signed up for. I'm and another thing, another thing, another thing I want to say. Hold on, Red. Hold on, Red. Hold on, hold on, Red. One second. <clears throat> you have to protect yourself at all costs, okay? Even if you have to hide in the bushes, mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you gotta protect yourself at all costs, even if you gotta hide. You better know about it. And one thing, no, no, one thing I gotta say about hiding in the bushes is when you hiding in the bushes and you pull out a motherfucking nine millimeter because you scared of DZ and you go to jail and you fighting the case two years later because you were so scared of motherfucking DZ. The same bitch that got her ass whooped by a motherfucking makeup wearing ass punk. By the name of Anthony West. But you the you same bitch. You the same bitch. Hold on. Bitch. You got your you opportunity know, no, no, no. to talk. You got your opportunity. You got your opportunity, big lip motherfucking man, dingo head ass bitch. The, you have to pull out a motherfucking nine millimeter and chase a bitch around your motherfucking um loud ass squeaky ass motherfucking Maserati bitch, cause you could whoop her ass. You scary ass bitch. That's why she busted all your windows out. That's why your motherfucking couldn't take her. And that's why you're going to jail, according to Miss Motherfucking DZ, bitch. Go ahead, Lady Red. Why this fake ass shit? Um, what I, I want to say also, what I want to say also is, is where is where was Pharaoh? Um, rings, you know, because Pharaoh do be like and stab the girls, you know. We have also known this, you know what I'm saying, to be in Houston where he stabbed a couple of the girls. So where was his rings at at that point in time? Like, where was his yeah. weapon? Well, can we get Pharaoh them to the board? And, 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 yeah, and so see? one thing that I do want to say before we before I call him, um, I do want to say this, though. And I don't know if, I don't know, I don't know if he had a brass knuckles on or not, or had 20 people or not. We're going to figure that out in the next um, two seconds. Um, but what I do want to say is if somebody is known, like I'm known for having a knife, bear mace and weapons. So if somebody comes to fight me with the same thing, they, they should. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like they, uh, like maybe Dooley was like, girl, she be stabbing people up. So I'm gonna come here and make sure I got my brass knuckles and I got my motherfucking bitches with me because I, I know the type of person he is. So you gotta also weigh that in. So, anyways, Dooley is here. Pharaoh is also here. Um, I'm gonna y'all keep saying yeah. which one is Dooley? Oh, I see him. Dooley the miracle. Let's welcome the motherfucking now that's TV star, motherfucking Dooley the motherfucking miracle. Hey, Dooley. What's up, Dooley? How you doing? So, um, can you put the pull the phone closer to you? Because we can't hear you. You said you can't hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. We can hear you now. Uh, we can hear you. So, did you... First, let's just get it out off the top. Did you sneak Pharaoh with brass knuckles and brought 20 people to the club to jump in? Damn, Lexi, girl, what? Lexi, you goof, girl, give me my fuck. You getting your admin took? What kind of weird she shit is the fuck is you on? Yeah, she oh, she cooked. Oh, she kicked it. She kicked it for oh. Pharaoh. Yeah, the fuck is you doing, bitch? Messing up my fucking show. Girl, that go now, Balan. That go crazy in the middle of our show. That goes crazy. The fuck? Hold on, let me. My girl, that was the guest on the show. Girl, that goes crazy. Girl, we was trying to get the see. The fuck. Hold on, y'all. Kick Lexi. <laughs> no. Make it hot. Kick her. Man, kid, you mean no? That bitch never say you a pussy, nigga. You need to stand on your business, nigga. That bitch supposed to know not to play no shit like that. Fuck you, mean no? <laughs> kick that whole, that whole good night. For fucking up, nigga. Kick her. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, you don't run me. 
No shade. Oh, uh, Dooley, my bad. Yeah, you know, okay, so, Dooley, did you, the question is again, did you have on brass knuckles, A, and did you have 20 people with you to jump in? You know, if I had 20 people with me to jump in, we would have got done. And I had on the same ring I got on. This shit was 98 and I was Timo. So you did not have on brass knuckles. Where is this story of the brass knuckles? Where did that come from? The brass knuckle thing. That bitch got hit so hard, she thought I had some on me. <laughs> So, okay, another part of it is why were why did you want to fight? Did he do something to you? Did he steal money from you? Did he attack you before? No, he just why messy did you on, he just he's messy on TV, so I walked up to him in a club and I tapped him. And I was like, you know, we gonna fight on side. He said, dude, I never had a problem with you. I said, Well, I got a problem with you. So we're gonna fight on side. I don't know. I, I would have right, 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 right then like let's do the right then and there, he should have went to work on your ass. Bitch, we ain't going wait, 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 no, 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 no. Wait, wait, no, no. Oh, no. no, 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 no. Boom, boom, boom. So you fuck so, boom. hold on. So you don't you don't have a he's never done anything to you for you to even want to fight him? Why did you I'm confused? They've been talking shit on they've been talking shit on Instagram. Hold on, let him let him answer it. We was beeping from a TV show. Cause y'all did fight on oh, now that's TV, right? Then you, I remember, I think I, yeah, y'all fought a couple times, right? I definitely was too big. I love your last time I seen you on that. You said y'all had jumped. Hold on, you said y'all had. Hold on, super one second. You said y'all had jumped him. Yeah, we had jumped him. Then he tried oh, to be cool. You should have been tapping right on your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> not, they're not saying. Oh, girl, I ain't got no problem with you. Girl, bitch, I don't give a bitch. Bitch, if I didn't have a problem with you, I got one to get it back because you went my face on. Like, these hoes is just not, girl, bye. Boop, boop, bop. Huh? I ain't got a ride, like. Oh, bitch, it's the problem right there. So, yeah, I feel like Dooley, now that we get... Wait, 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 where my boy at? Bring him up. Because now I'm saying Dooley's side of the story. Okay, Dooley said he went up there and already pre-warned him. So how is Dooley wrong? Bitch, I gave you the warning. Bitch, you should have had your people ready. You should have had everything okay, set up so ready. Cause my nigga, my nigga would have been in the cup with that four fire ready to pop that bitch. Soon that bitch hit me with okay, so that bitch would have dropped right there in the middle, middle oh, of the park. Oh, damn, he would have dropped. Nobody would know who he was. Oh, hold on, so he gave second. him a hold warning. On, hold on, super one second. So did you? Is uh, it true you had twenty to thirty people with you that was on your side? Said, that no, was in the, he I, said, was at, I was at the club. Like my friends. So were they? Were they? Were they trying to fight too? Any look, Milan, you know who I be around. Anybody that, that we gonna jump, we gonna jump. It would have been no problem. Huh? No. Oh, wow. Fuck, I don't give a fuck. I'm stationary. So they wouldn't so in the. Hold on. Oh, oh, can you shut the fuck up? Can you, can you, up, can can you dilute A's out your blood veins? Can damn. you dilute A's out your motherfucking blood veins? You know what I can talk bitch, when the fuck, the fuck I want. Up, bitch, man. I'm a host on this raggedy motherfucker. I talk when the fuck I want to, bitch. God damn. Girl, let me ask my question. Fuck. Okay, go ahead, bitch. <laughs> So, was the people that was with you, was they trying to fight too? Did they intimidate him to make him feel like they was going to whoop him too? Or was it just like a one-on-one -on -one set? No, it was a fight going on previously that had nothing to do with him. I just hit him. My friends were talking about else. So, did you hit him off guard or did you, you let him, well, you had already let, you said that you had tapped him on the I, 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 I walked right up to him. I walked right up to him. And I was close enough to point he shut down time. He won't look him. They don't got nothing to do with me. Like, he, he looked at me, walked up, and then turned his head. And it's like, girl, you see me walking towards you. What are you doing? Okay, so, well, obviously, I know you, <laughs> you, you with my, you with my, my grands and my great, my, my kids and stuff like that. So I know how they get down. If they wanted to jump, they would have jumped. That's for sure. My question to you, though, is, is there really a like a, a personal problem that you have with him, or is it still only from the TV show? Because why can couldn't you just wait to go get your twenty thousand dollars at the boxing match and you and and you and Pharaoh boxed it out and you could have got twenty thousand dollars? Why take it to the club if it's really just TV? Oh, no, they pay that much. 
Why are you guys saying that? It's just a question. Well, they said... I know, Pharaoh, not, I, I know a bitch ain't said 20,000. I want to um, talk with some sweetness or kindness. Like, I just they said... The no, they said that Um, they just got $10,000. No, your voice... It's not your voice. It's the emotion behind your voice. Huh? Said no, like okay. Well, I maybe I was confused. All right, well, we're gonna um, I'm gonna go ahead and so is is it over with? Is it the fight? If you, you see him again, you gonna fight him again? Is this you know, you done? The beef is over, you whooped them. I was done, but now I probably might because I'm just had on brass knuckles, so now I might. But maybe you said you hit him so hard he thought you what had on brass knuckles, like you just gotta let it go. Oh, okay, then, and then also on top of that, he, he told somebody. He told Instagram that I had stole his shit. No, I did not. And his friend I, that was with him, I guess, I don't know, the bitch named Polo, whatever. I guess that's his friend name. They just had me up here the other day talking about it. He just said he watched somebody take his shit off the ground while I was fighting him. So it was like, bro, something I stole your shit. I your know the bitches you with. I'm going to be honest. The bitches you with, somebody took that wallet. It might not have been you, but I guarantee the bitches you with, my grand? So can I ask? What is the wallet? Hold on, now we're going to get the bottom of this wallet. So you didn't steal the wallet, but did somebody with you steal it? I wouldn't know. I was fighting. I'm dead ass. <laughs> well, I'm so serious. <laughs> Go ahead, lady friend. Um, so, Dooley, can I ask you an off the topic question? What's this? Um, so to my understanding, you said Landon lied on Zoe and put a rape kit and put a rape kit out on Zoe to get 10K. Is that true? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm. Well, um, uh, all right. Well, you unmuted, super. <laughs> just not fight him no more can y'all can you just let it go you proved your point you did what you had to do you know what i'm saying like i'm gonna fight him again he's weak thank you period you so, so did zo yeah. try to have sex with you too dooley no he tried to jack off on the phone a couple of times everybody knows uh, this though. I love you. so y'all you said he tried to or y'all did a couple of times on the phone no he's ugly Okay. So, do you want to be on season three, Playboys? If I wanted to be on it, I would be. I decline every offer them people give me. I don't want to work with them. You mm -hmm. tired? You feel like you don't did enough for game, enough Thank for your you fighting and energy, and you tired? Well, well I, like I want I want to say this. I'm glad that you're done with it. You don't want you. You done. You you proved your point. Whatever energy or whatever problem you have with him is over with. You would do um, good on bad boys. Like go to bad, but try to reach. You know, go up. You probably do. You do good on something better, bigger platform. But you're definitely good for TV. For reality TV, you definitely good. How much would you pay for the show? For season one, I only got fifteen hundred for filming and then twenty five hundred for the reunion. And then season two, it was six thousand in total. Did you do the fight, the fight night type? No, I told him I'm not working with them no more. <laughs> All right, so on right now, who do you who is your favorite person that's still on the show? Like, do you do you still have any relationship with any of the, your former cast members? I don't really care for nobody. <laughs> I'm dead for that. I'm sorry. He is catty as a motherfucker. Yeah, he don't, he don't be for no bit. That was his I'm energy on TV, child. He was catty <laughs> as hell. Yeah. I was hollering um, at him. I have one more question. You cool? You cool with that? Girl, y'all hold. Let me tell you something. Can I speak now? Can I have a moment, Milan? I hate when a bitch. I hate when y'all want everybody to be a hater or 
jealous of a person like the bitch on TV, girl. He do bitch, good. He's funny. He's catty. I'm just talking about his personality. Why are you? It ain't bitch. I ain't got to kiss no whole ass. Bitch, I give credit what it's due because I'm I'm a, I ain't no hater. I'm blessed, bitch. I don't give a fuck about giving a bitch they roses, bitch. I don't talk to him on the regular. I don't see him on the regular. We follow each other on Instagram. That's it. I don't. I'm not no kissing ass because I'll be in his DMs, baby. He's here now on the show that I'm I'm hosting with Milan. I'm giving him his motherfucking roses because he's a motherfucking guest. He didn't have to take his time. Girl, out of you you. So I'm giving him his roses, bitch. You mad because nobody kissing your ass because you ain't got nothing going on. You mad because ain't nobody kissing your ass because you ain't got shit going on, you mad ass bitch. Girl, you a mad ass bitch. You a hate ass. That's why y'all hoes be jealous and haters. Y'all don't know how to sit next to another gay man and, and give him his credit. Shut up, faggot. Girl, you should get chasing that. Girl, you please, I never said I'm here you a rose. I never did. And you ain't gonna get one, bitch. I don't want no rose from no powder puff, girl. You ain't, and I don't want it. All right, after Lady Red asked her a question, I'm gonna bring up for people. You know, Dooley came over here because that's my, that's my grands. And so I'm gonna bring up three people to ask some questions. So get y'all questions ready. Um, for Dooley, and Dooley's gonna, you know, go about his day. He 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 got he's at a party with his friends. He's chilling. So I don't want to drag this out. Go ahead, my beautiful co-host. Um, can you unmute Dooley? Absolutely. So Dooley, my first question is: Are you cool with Zay? Rich Zay. Rich Zay. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, my last question is: Is which castmates um was trying to fuck you behind the scenes? Not not none of them for real. We don't. I don't. I don't. I honestly was beefing with a, a lot of them. It, it never gave that. Okay, that was all. All right, all right. So, oh, okay. Maniac, want to say something before I bring somebody up? Go ahead, Maniac. The oh, that comes, to um, what Lady Red said. So, you said you're not cool with Zay. So, is it to the point where you were you were fight Zay? I'm going up on. Okay. All right, and then um, uh, super. Uh, I don't really have nothing else to say. Uh, oh, I saw you point. I what, was what, just saying. Um, what? Um, oh no, I was. I never begged to get off mute. You could have left me there. It don't matter to me no more. Stop playing with my face. But anyway, now I got a question. Girl, I said what I said. This bitch okay, now long. I got a question. Dooley. Dooley. Okay, you. Okay, you say you don't want to be on this. Uh, I don't know where you want to work with them. Do you want to talk about? Why you don't, or that's just something that's behind the scenes you'd rather just not talk about? Because a lot of people, you got a lot of people that like to see you on there. So, do you want to give us a brief brush up on why you won't be on that TV anymore? And we would be seeing you anywhere else? Um, as of right now, I was told bad boys will just continue, so no. And also, um, not the TV is a big ass ditty party. Everybody on that network is sleeping with somebody to get somewhere. I'm not about to keep getting low ball for people that just using their ass to get three times what I'm getting paid to fight for my life. Fuck that. Mm. 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 Hey, would you ever All go right, on well, Super Network? You know, Super got a network too. Would you ever go on there? As long as the pay good, I'll go anywhere. Thank you, brother. Absolutely hate that. That's how you answer a motherfucking question. As a business person and a person that's in uh, reality TV, you go where the coin is. Um, I'm going to bring up five people from the comments, and um, we're going to do that really quick. So just say, y'all, every time I get to this point, y'all keep pointing y'all fingers. Now, do y'all got any more questions before I bring anybody up? Because these people in the comments, they're ready to ask their questions. Um, can you unmute um, him? So, I would, so what you're saying is Isaiah do orgies? Dooley? Um, I wouldn't say Isaiah is back, but... You lagging, baby. I wouldn't say it's Isaiah. You, la you lagging, Dooley. There you go. He back. He said he wouldn't say it was just Isaiah. That's what yeah, my bad. All right, okay. so I'm going to bring up five people from the comments. Um, you guys say Abby. You guys say Abby, and I'm going to bring you up. Just say Abby, please. All right, the first person right. is in the queue. Ooh. Hey, Lisa, go ahead. What's he, your question? He like to fight. Is that what he like to do? Like, that's what he get out of. He just want to knock bitches all day, every day, and that make him feel good? That make his dick hard? Mm. 
Do you the question was, does that all you have to offer? Is that all you like to do is just go around fight people? Do you 